Let me just start by saying, I did not want to kill any of the NPCs in this video game. I may appear exhilarated and at times even slightly aroused in this video. I literally feel so immoral right now. But trust me when I tell you that I prayed for 69 minutes straight immediately after recording this video to plead to our Lord and Savior Winnie the Pooh for his righteous forgiveness. You want me to get that for you? Let me just... There we go, good as new. This video has been modified completely using CGI, so do not worry. No NPCs were gruesomely murdered in this video. It is all just movie magic, baby. Now that I have that off my chest, let's dive face first into the semi-procedural dungeons mode of Blade and Sorcery VR. I feel like such a bad human being. Can I throw this and actually get a hit? Oh! Oh, <laughs> yep. What's the point in getting the mod if I can't dismember? Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. It did, I mean, I did mean to do it, but it doesn't make me feel good particularly. Those are actually some pretty clean dismemberments, if I'm being honest. Oh my god, look at those god rays. Holy shit. Gonna get rid of the evidence. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! You did this to me. Uh, you did this. Uh. Blade and Sorcery is an extremely high quality game with amazing graphics and an almost dizzy number of weapons to choose from. This weapon list includes goodies such as daggers, swords, maces, axes, a bow and arrow, a spear, magical staffs, and various exotic weapons. This doesn't even include the weapon mods that have been handcrafted by various members of the Blade and Sorcery community for your sinful enjoyment. My personal favorite is the Saber mod, which allows you to roleplay as the infamous Child Slayer, Anakin Skywalker. Mm. Oh god! I literally, I feel like such a bad guy doing all this. Like, why is this a game? I don't understand. Sorry. Uh, All right, see you guys later. Oh, <laughs> you okay? And that's not what it looks like, ma'am! Um, knock knock. Who's there? I just want to take a second to state the obvious and say that I do not condone violence in any way, shape, or form. This is a video game. If you want to roleplay Blade and Sorcery in real life, I would suggest getting some help from a therapist and locking yourself in a cage until those feelings subside. I only address this matter so that my FBI agent can sleep easy tonight. Hello? Here. Don't tell anybody. Wow. I'm pretty freaking glad that I installed this mod. Pussy! Whoa, I got my hands up. Okay, I got my hands up. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break. I'm just trying to have a little fun, okay? Oh, shit. Huzzah! <laughs> Goodbye! It is definitely worth noting that the NPCs in this game are very crafty little rats. They will dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge many of your attempted attacks and smack you like the red-headed stepchild that you are. I myself had to turn on god mode and decrease the difficulty so much so that the NPCs were essentially turned into slightly more aware versions of Helen Keller. I will say, even though this makes me feel like super bad, I can I can understand why this is actually a game and it's like one of the most popular games I mean there's some crazy motherfuckers out there who just love killing I really live for this shit this is what I live for being able to pick up benches and tables and stuff with the force I absolutely love it have you heard about our lord and savior Winnie the Pooh I'll take that as a no okay this mod with the, with the, you know, with the massive hands and stuff. Now this is where the fun is at, buddy. Oh! Would I get... Would I get in trouble on YouTube for 
clubbing a chicken to death? Is that a thing? Oh god! Dude, Pete is gonna have a field day with this shit. We'll give this guy a proper send-off. You've never been able to fly in your life, so... Have fun! Yeah, I know what it looks like, man. I didn't do it, I swear. Gotcha. On the road again. On the road again. Another aspect of this game that I have yet to mention is the spell casting mechanic. You are given a spell wheel on both hands. The spells you can choose from include fire, electricity, and gravity. You can use these spells to imbue the power of your selected spell into various weapons. You do this by casting the spell with one hand and then proceeding to stroke your sword, or whatever weapon you happen to be using. And yet again, this is not including the massive selection of spells that are available for Blade and Sorcery created by mod authors in the Blade and Sorcery community. My current favorite, which I am sure has been shown numerous times in this video by now, is a pair of massive hands, which makes me feel like a human catapult. I pretty much spend 90% of my time in this game going around and slapping NPCs silly until they are mentally incapable of discerning between their own asshole and a hole in the ground. Oh shit! Did I just complete it? Did I just win? Have you ever seen that movie, um, Accepted? Jonah Hill was like in a wiener costume or something, he's getting bullied. Not chill, but he's getting bullied and he's like, ASK ME ABOUT MY WIENER! That kills me so much. Ask me about my wiener! <laughs> then he gets all serious and he's like, dude, okay, can you just please ask me about my wiener? Now don't don't know don't 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't know what I'm saying, dude. This is the cool kids club buddy o I am well versed in the ways of the force of the Jedi! Okay. This is the end of the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day. And drop a like if you liked the video. Oh, hey, if you're still here, um, you know, I'm a small YouTuber, and I'd really appreciate it if you, uh, you watch some of my other videos. I got a bunch of these babies, so, you know. Sound right, boy.